Ever wondered why some plants don't need seeds to reproduce? Well, brace yourselves because we're about to explore this intriguing aspect of Mother Nature. When we think of plant reproduction, seeds are usually the first thing that comes to mind. After all, they're the plant equivalent of a baby in a cradle. But what if I told you that a significant portion of the plant kingdom doesn't even bother with seeds? Yes, a whole range of plants have decided to buck the trend and go their own way. It's a world where ferns, mosses, and fungi rule, a world where seeds are conspicuous by their absence. It's a world that's as mysterious as it is fascinating. And it's a world we're about to explore. So, are you ready to unravel this seedless mystery? Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of seedless plant reproduction. Scene Script Dive into the fascinating process of how these plants reproduce without seeds. Let's start with vegetative reproduction, a form of asexual reproduction. This process allows plants to reproduce using their existing parts, such as stems, leaves, or roots. For instance, take a potato. If you've ever left one in your pantry for too long, you've probably noticed spindly growths sprouting from the eyes. These aren't just the plant's attempt to escape your pantry, they're new plants. The potato is using its stem, in this case, the tuber, to create a completely new plant identical to the original. This method is widespread in nature and it's also a gardener's best friend. You've likely seen it in action when you plant a cutting from a rose bush, and it grows into a new identical rose bush. Now let's talk about spores. These mighty microscopic particles are another way some plants reproduce without seeds. Ferns and mosses are classic examples of spore-reproducing plants. When conditions are just right, these plants release their spores into the wind, and they drift until they find a suitable place to germinate and grow into a new plant. So whether it's a potato sprouting new life in your pantry, a rose bush cloned from a cutting, or a spore floating on the breeze, plants have found remarkable ways to reproduce without the need for seeds. So now you know the secret behind the seedless reproduction of plants. In a nutshell, some plants don't need seeds to reproduce. They've got alternative strategies like vegetative reproduction or spore production. In vegetative reproduction, new plants grow from parts of the parent plant, while spores, tiny living cells, can grow into a new organism. These methods can be advantageous, allowing plants to reproduce quickly and efficiently, even in challenging conditions. So next time you see a plant, remember, it may not need seeds to create a new generation.